Hey friends, I'm wearing one of my dresses that I did in my fashion show. I really love it. It's so cozy and comfortable and it just really reminds me of Little House on the Prairie or like I'm just living on a prairie. I don't got a care in the world. Life is good. Doing my thing. Well, today's video, I was inspired to do my favorites. Have I done my favorites video in a while? I haven't done one in so long. Well, you see, we're in June now. And here, it's supposed to be beautiful, it's supposed to be in the 80s, it's supposed to be wonderful, but no, we get rain and cold. I took my dog for a walk the other day and I had to wear my winter coat. I'm like, what? So where I live has different temperatures all the time. It's like on, it, it's like on, like it has, uh, what is the word? Uh, la, 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 la. I don't know, just multi-personality disorder or whatever, because one minute it's freezing, one minute it's 100 degrees. It just, you just never know. And anyway, I like it because it's kind of like my personality. I'm constantly reinventing myself. I'm constantly looking for more, better. What can I do to reinvent myself and make myself feel better and more alive and vibrant and whatever. So I'm, I want to share you, share with you today all of my favorites right now from Inside, it always starts on the inside to what's on the what you see on the outside. It's a ripple effect on how you feel, how you act, how you look, how you represent yourself. It's just a beautiful thing. So, years ago, I saw on TV, or uh, not on TV, sorry, YouTube is TV. I saw this trend going around, celery juice celery juice. Celery juice was everywhere and I was just like, yeah, whatever. That's just in LA. The stars are just trying to lose weight before their whatever bikini shoots or whatever. And I never jumped on the ball, the bandwagon, so to speak. I never jumped on it because I was like, well, ew, gross. Celery juice? Celery juice? Why would I juice celery? I mean, oh my God, I'd just rather have a steak and when I was in that marriage, uh, my first marriage, uh, he was a meat man. He had to have meat for every single meal. So I was just clogged up with meat and just like, ugh. I had brain fog. I had weight gain. I had, at one point, I, my stomach was getting so bloated and I was like, what is going on? And I had fibroids and I had to go get a partial hysterectomy and blah, 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 blah. And that's where your health can just go downhill if you don't take a look at what's inside. So I believe in timing. I believe everything has timing. Like if I, when I found the celery, I wasn't ready for the celery. I was in a bad marriage. I was having to make meat for everything. I was just surviving, right? You know how sometimes in life we're just surviving? So that's where I was. I was just surviving. I didn't have time to think about celery and then my husband would have made fun of me and if I tried to buy organic or or eat healthy, he would just make fun of me and say, that's a waste of money. I could have got a steak with that. And many times when you're in relationships, you do what they tell you to do because, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom, because you wanna keep the peace, right? So now I'm at the stage of my life where I can, I can do whatever I want. I'm a single woman. Yes, I am. Starting over at 52. I got a birthday coming up this month, you guys. So I'm working really hard on myself so that I can be amazing for myself. We got to constantly reinvent ourselves. I believe that if you stop learning, you stop growing. So now I'm in the place of my life. I just went through a breakup. I'm working on myself. Another thing, ladies, don't just go on a dating app and men, don't just, when you have a breakup, don't just go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I gotta go replace that person because I'm alone. Oh no, what about sex? Oh, Get a vibrator and take care of yourself. Men, you know how to masturbate. Yes, I said it here. 
take care of yourself. And when you take care of yourself, you find yourself. So this is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. This is what I'm telling you to do. So now I don't worry about a man. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I gotta get on the dating app. I need a man. I need a lollipop. Oh no, 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 no. I take care of myself now. And in turn, um, I'm becoming a better person. And then when I become healthy and where I am in life, then I'll just attract who's supposed to be in my life. And if, you know, I'm not worried about it. I'm not just sitting around going, oh my God, I need a man. I need a man. I need a man. I need a man to complete myself. No, now I'm like diving deep into, oh my gosh, Becky. How can I fix myself? How can I become a better person? How can I go into my 53 like, yeah, girl, yeah, I feel good, do, 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 the way that I should. So good, so good, so good, I feel good, do, 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 do. That's how I want to go into my 53. So, I was bouncing around the internet I always show you books that I'm working on. You know, I showed you that Making Love to God. I'm still working on that. That's beautiful. I bounce back and forth to these books. But I found this guy, medical medium. I was browsing around my TikTok one day. You know how the feed just come, goes through and you just browse around. I have a TikTok, Ursula Andrea. You want to follow me? I would love it. Um, so I was browsing around and I was, and then this guy came up. And I was at the point in my life and I was like, why can't I get this belly fat off? Why am I still having this bloated belly? I'm so sick of it attitude. And you know, when we're in our 50s, girls, men, it's a whole lot harder because what's happening is our liver is so full of fat and trying to process and cleanse and after a while the more fat you put into your body it just things go out your gallbladder because you put too much fat in your body you're going to start having all kinds of health problems and and your body is just going to say i'm not doing this anymore and you're going to start getting sick and you're going to start getting different things so that's what was happening to me. I was like, I was researching and I'm like, how can I be healthy? I, what foods am I supposed to eat? I'm so confused. One person talks about all meat, you know, another person talks about a high fat, low carb. Another person talks about plant-based. Another person talks about vegan. It's almost like the same analogy of churches. How do we decide? Should we be a, a Presbyterian? Should we be a Mormon? Should we be a, 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 a Seventh-day Adventist? What should we do? You know, it, it's so confusing. And I believe that you need to do whatever you feel led to do. And I feel like the universe has a way of when you're in touch with yourself. And I've been really, really working on myself. Instead of, like I said, a dating app, I've been going deep. You know, you guys, this is the first time I put on makeup in four days. I have really been div diving deep into myself and working on myself and working on my demons and my issues and why do I keep attracting who I keep attracting and why don't I love myself and why am I unworthy at 52? What is this about? I've got everything. I've got a house. I've got money. I've got everything I've strove for and yet I'm sitting here crying myself to sleep. What the heck is going on? Get it together, girl. And then I found um, medical medium and it's true, if our gut is out of balance, then it, it really messes us up. It can cause bipolar, it can cause mood swings, it can cause um, all these different health problems that you know we don't need to go through. And so when I found him, medical medium, and he's just kind of a silly, quirky guy, and I like weird people. I think weird people are amazing. He's kind of weird, you know? That's my kind of crew because I hate the ones that are all, you know, sit all together, you know, they're just like, they got, they look like they've got it all together, but in their house, they're like beating their wives or whatever. I mean, 
be who you are, you know what I mean? So not necessarily that, but you know what I mean. I mean, sometimes straight-laced people, business people are so professional and so like, I do everything right kind of attitude. And sometimes it's hard to relate to those type of people because you're like, yeah, right, whatever. You know, we all take a poop and we, it all stinks, right? So anyway, when I found this guy, I started watching and it was like a, almost like a light bulb moment. Uh, came on for me and I was just like what yes so I ordered his book um, called cleanse to heal he has several books um, he has liver detox he has um, you name it check him out his YouTube channel medical medium now I'm not getting paid for any of anything that I'm about to share with you I'm not getting paid for any of this I'm just simply sharing oh my gosh we're at 10 minutes already I gotta speed it up Okay, um, and I found this and it has um, recipes. And so back to my story on celery juice. So then I started going, oh my gosh, he talks about eggs. I was having two eggs in the morning and oatmeal every day. Eggs actually feed the bad bacteria in your body. Eggs actually make can make you sicker because they feed, we have all have like these unhealthy viruses and like Epstein-Barr and things that can be activated and triggered if we eat certain foods. So he talks about how eggs feed the nasty bugs inside of your body that actually will turn into uh, really bad health problems in the future, like MS and fibromyalgia and different conditions, achy joints. So I got this and then I bought one for my daughter I'm gonna get some for my sons. And I started it and I'm like, what the heck? So that's the book. Um, research him, he's on YouTube Medi Medical Medium, Anthony Williams. So I started, I thought, what the heck? You know what? I just went through a breakup. I'm alone. I don't really have to cook. Nobody's coming home. I'm just me and Bella. My dog's left with Josh because he's better provider than I am because he can take him running and hiking and I trust him. So they're having an amazing life with Josh and I'm here by myself with Bella. She's more on my speed because she's an older girl also. So we go for walks every day. So we start our day with lemon water every morning. So we just get a big jug of water and we, so I thought I'm going to try it. What the heck? I just started trying it before I even got his book. And so I, I have got a juicer and I juice uh, 16 ounces of celery juice every single morning. This is my first thing I do. So water and then celery juice. Now I've been, mind you, I've been doing this for almost two weeks now and I feel clear. Uh, my skin, my attitude, my, it's like I can think better. It's weird. I, I just, I'm not telling you this because I'm like getting paid for this or anything. I'm just telling you my experience. So I started with celery juice. I just, it's morning here. It's like uh, 9 30 AM. I woke up and I'm like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do a video on my favorites today. So I always like to, to share what's going on with me. You guys know that this is a lifestyle channel. And whatever I'm finding that's working for me, I'm. why would I save it for myself? Like, why? When you guys send me messages and say, girl, you just keep getting younger. You just keep on getting better. You're like fine wine. You, you're aging great. And this is how. It's not just by magic. It's, it's not just by coincidence. It's like, I'm working on this. I'm working on how to age amazing, you know? I'm working on it. So this is my celery juice every single morning. So I've been telling everybody, I'm obsessed. I'm not one that finds something and then just never talks about it. I like want the world to know. I want them to know because I want them to feel as good as I feel. So now I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm reading again. I'm journaling again. I'm exercising. I'm, my mind is not, I went for a while, um, at the end of my relationship, I was so like trying to fix everything and cook and do all this stuff that I was starting to lose myself again. And, um, 
now I'm like finding myself again. I'm doing only what I want. Nobody's coming home. I, the, I, I can have a pajama day if I want. I don't have to get ready. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. And so I'm really taking the time to find myself again. And like, so hopefully you'll notice the difference in me on all my new videos that I'm just a better, healthier, happier person. And so this is how it starts. All right, on to my next, or I'm not going to get to any of my stuff. We're in 15 minutes. So that's how it starts. Work on the inside. And then I have a book called Ultimate Confidence by Marissa Peer. Uh, so I brought her out. And so I bounce around getting different ideas and how to heal my body internally. And then ask and it is given. I listen to Abraham Hicks. And it's, it's just, she is somebody who channels a spirit called Abraham Hicks and it's like confusing unless you uh, do your research on it and it's asking it is given learning to manifest your desires so I'm a big manifester people have asked girl how did you how did you get divorced give everything to your husband not get a 401k not get a house and then move over here um, and then live with your sister rent a house and then I manifested my own house within six months of my divorce. And I left with no money. You know, most women have to. I get it. But I had confidence in myself and I knew I could make money and I'd be okay. And he needed that house. And now my son's living in that house. And so I feel like that's a good karma thing. I felt like that was a good karma thing for me to do at the time. So I walked away from there with no resentment, no hard feelings. I just needed to bounce. I needed to go. My, I was, I was growing and I was learning and I was staying stagnant there and I couldn't do it anymore. I, I had so much more to do, like make these videos. And then I start, so I read, I bounce back from forth to that. And then I, I've told you many times how I journal and my daughter bought this for me, do of what, uh, do more of what makes you sparkle. And that's kind of been my thing. Uh, my teenagers used to call me sparkly bitch because I loved sparkly things. I was constantly searching for that sparkle in my life to revive my life. And so I became the sparkly bitch. And so I got this and I journal and I'm learning about how carbohydrates, you can have potatoes, but don't put the butter and the sour cream and all the fat don't mix fat with carbohydrates and if you are having fats don't have carbohydrates with the fats and so i'm learning all these amazing things so i'm going to share some recipes in the future right now i'm in the process of relearning how to make all these new healthy foods i i make homemade broth uh, veggie broth I'm making broccoli salads with no dressing. I'm just whipping them together with lemon juice and, and flavoring them with garlic powder and onion powders. And I'm learning different flavors without putting um, all that fat. I'm not using any oils, no butters right now, no dairy right now, just good food that grows in the ground or in the earth. That's what I'm doing. All right. So part of that is I love hats because when you go out in the world, do, 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 do. I don't know why I felt like I needed to do that. But when you go out in the sun, you got to protect your face. So I always wear products on my face because um, I don't want wrinkles. See, that's how I've been able to keep my wrinkle situation under, under thing, underground or behind me or whatever. And of course, Botox. I love Botox. You know, you got to have a little Botox so you don't look angry. So keep a hat over your head. Like when I'm out in the pool, sunbathing, I'm constantly wearing my hat and my sunglasses. So that's one thing. And then on your face portion, oh no, let's do the body next. So on my body to keep it, keep it silky smooth, like you see, no wrinkles. I have no wrinkles on my body. I'll either use sweet almond uh, oil, then it's organic on my body, because a lot of the lotions have a lot of bad stuff in them. So I'll use that, or depending on my mood, or I'll use a organic argon oil. And it's this one has just a, you know, I like to put it on and then just rub it, like rub it all over. 
make it smooth. You've got to do your decollete. You've got to do your neck because you don't want to get all wrinkly if you don't have to. You know what I mean? So take care of yourself. So I use a lot of oils. And before I go to bed, uh, and I love aloe vera, aloe vera. So I'll switch from different oils. So I'll put aloe vera all over my face once I wash my makeup off and just go to bed with it like an oil all over my decollete, my um, everything, all right here, shoulders, everywhere. So that I'm, um, when I sleep, my skin doesn't get um, all dry and cracked and you just gotta oil up. You're, I'm a well-oiled machine, that's what I am, just like a car. A car needs oil and you need to change the oil, you need to change the filters so you have to figure out what works for you and do that. So I do that all over my face before I put my hair up and I have a purple pillow and a silk um, pillowcase. That's another thing. And I don't sleep on my face. If you sleep on your face, oh my gosh, this is 20 minutes. Ah! Okay, I gotta hurry. So then I, um, depending on the day, like if it's really, if I'm gonna go hiking, or if I'm just gonna go for a walk, I always use Rain or Shine. It is a uh, 50 SPF um, lotion for my face. I put that all over my face. And then I bounce back from this uh, LA, from this, which is a, um, it's a tinted uh, SPF on your face, tinted sunscreen. And then there's this one, a tinted sunscreen. So you just gotta find what you like. So in the summer, I just primarily just use this um, because you don't need foundation in the summer. You don't need it. It's just, ugh, it's all gross. You don't need foundation. So in the summertime, that's my go-to. Also, I've been starting to do, um, when I'm not wearing mascara, I put on this. It's castor oil. And so I put this on my eyelashes to regrow my eyelashes. You just, I ordered this this on Amazon, it's just an empty one, and then I poured the castor oil in there, the organic castor oil. So I put that on my eyelashes and my eyebrows because as we age, sometimes, and I can, you can put it in your hair, sometimes our eyelashes and eyebrows stop growing, like if you do too many treatments, like I had false eyelashes for a while, and my eyelashes just broke. Um, and same with dyeing my hair, I used to do a lot of bleach products, and then my hair stopped growing and stopped looking healthy, so I stopped that. So when you have a problem, stop it. Um, you know, don't just keep on, you know, having problems. You got to figure out what the problem is. Also, when I do wear foundation, like for videos and stuff, and to feel better, I do use True Skin on my face. Uh, I love that. I've tried many, and I also love this skin firming and smoothing um, stuff for my neck. I put it all over my neck and my decollete so that... I don't get that that saggy. And then I do exercises with my tongue. I just like, I'll just like hold my jaw like that. And then I'll just lift my tongue inside of my mouth and do jaw exercises. And then also, this is my best friend. This, this I got on Amazon. I don't even know what it's called. It's not sponsored. It's got a green light. It's got red light therapy. And it's got blue light therapy. So this is just amazing because you just like put it on your skin and it vibrates like it's for your neck. It's just amazing and it just helps tighten everything. And then I use it on my neck every day before I get my face done. I wash my face and I do this and you can just get all the air and then you just take it up, 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 up. I have oil on it, so I don't want to put it on my face, but it just massages your, oh, it feels so good. I love it. So then it has a timer on it. It automatically shuts off when you're done. So then when I, and then this mascara, I put on some mascara, uh, you know, to open up my eyes. I find some vibrant colors for the spring and summer. The light's not very bright in here. I forgot my ring light. Um, but anyway, bright colors to put on your eyes. Um, and then, what else? Uh, teeth whitening. I love, so when I'm getting ready in the morning after I wash my face and after I've done 
dentist and everything, I put my teeth whitener on about once a week. I'm not that, I don't do it all the time. I should probably, but once a week, put it on, makes you feel a little better. See, I'm not, I don't have veneur ven, or whatever the frick they're called, ven, veneurs or whatever the stars have, These all these fancy teeth that stay white constantly. Also find a little pretty little hair thing like you can put in your hair. Like some days I just, I just want my hair back, you know, and I just don't want to mess with it. So it just kind of pulls it back. This little fun little clippy thing. I love stay on 24 hour uh, lipstick. I was told, I heard somewhere that, that we are supposed to match our, the tip of our nipple. It, that's the best color for us. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, the color of our nipple is what we're supposed, is our best color for us. So find colors that are according to that color and areola, is that what it's called? Okay. Um, and then use those kind of colors. But I do mix it up and I use bright colors and fancy colors and stuff like that. Also, oh my God, also find a good um, liner for your eyebrows. So I have this and then it has a little brush on the end. And so I just, so I don't do, a, I just do simple makeup, you know? And then find a good blush and then put some blush on. Find a good um, bronzer that you can just put up in your hairline and around the side of your face and around, you know, your face. Find a good little necklace. Find some cute earrings. Do what makes you happy. And then this, oh my God, I'm running out of time. 26, oh, this I love. It's called Voyox. I'm not sponsored by this either. I just, and this is supposed to help with your cellulite. Uh, so I massage my body because it's summertime and I've got to be in a bikini for what I do on my other channels. And so I've got to get myself ready, right? So I, I prepare and this is how I do it. So I find new things each year that I'm happy with. So it has different speeds, um, low, medium, high. I keep it on high and then it's got these round red light. Red light therapy is the new normal. So then I stand up. And I do my legs. And I just work my legs. Because as we age and as we lose weight, sometimes our skin can get really uh, yucky. So you gotta dig into it and do this and get your skin better. So, and then also it has bristles that you can use it in the shower too. So you can like, do your face and you can do your body, you can soap up your body and stuff like that. And also I've replaced my caffeine um, with ch organic chaga mushroom powder. So I'm learning that caffeine, I didn't drink very much, I only drank one a day, but I'm just trying new things to make, see if I feel good. So this is organic chaga mushroom powder. So I've just started um, doing this. I have a water machine and I just warm up the water and then I put this in like coffee and then I put organic honey in it and stir it around put some cinnamon in it and it's delicious kind of a trickery so you're kind of tricking and then also red light therapy so i have this belt that i can put on when i'm working out when i'm doing yoga i don't have it all set up right now wait okay there we go so you can put this on and then it's got this red light therapy inside of it. And it's like slimming your body. It's like putting that therapy so that I'm able to get my waist back. So when I'm doing yoga, I put this bad bay on and it's like rechargeable. So then you just turn it on and the red light therapy is going on my bare stomach and it is helping firm my problem areas. But when I'm eating healthy and I'm doing all these wonderful things, then I'm bound to do wonderful things. And then I keep these on my little ottoman right here. I keep these beautiful little high heel shoes that are sparkle here to remind me that, oh my gosh, I love sparkly pretty things. And I have my house designed with all the things that make me smile, like sparkly mirrors and sparkly lights and, and just things that make me happy. 
So I hope you enjoyed this today. It's a little bit long, but I have a lot of favorites. And so thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. And remember, do what you love, love what you do, and what's that? Don't care who cares. I love you. Please push the bell button, subscribe for more, and stay tuned for my next video.